City Center is a local nonprofit that works to connect families in need to resources that can help. The organization is leading change through compassion. Joining us live to tell us more about their mission, City Center founder Jed Chapel. Jed, good morning and good thanks morning. for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Happy to have you here and learn yeah. so much more about the work that you do. So just to start off, for anybody who's never heard about City Center, sure. tell us about your mission and and also it's it's a special one for you. Sure. So City Center is a, a we exist to champion youth and families in neighborhoods by creating empowered pathways to relief and restoration. We realize that relief is a, is a great need right now with inflation, with all the things going on. There's so many families that need relief. So we offer a food pantry, a clothing closet. We offer after school programming for youth as well. And so we exist in this neighborhood to be a resource center as a one stop shop for families and youth. Expand a little bit more about the programs and the yeah. services that you offer and how it all works. Sure. So basically we from 8, 8 o'clock in the morning until 5.30 in the afternoon, we're open. And so we have a resource side where there's a clothing closet and a food pantry. During the day, before school hours, after school hours, we're open and available for those two things to be accessed. And so what we do is we offer those food boxes from our food pantry and the clothing closet free of, free of charge, no barriers to entry whatsoever to families in our community. And in the afternoon, we have youth programming. And so what, this is one of the things that is really close to my heart because as a young person, I was a little bit of a troubled youth and um, I, things turned around for me and I, and I got on the right path. But I wanna create safe spaces for young people to have access to our space in, in the youth programming area. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, you mentioned there about providing relief and, and you brought up examples like inflation. Have you seen an increase in need of families coming in because they need yes. some help? Absolutely, you know, towards the end of the month, whenever it's, it's hardest to make ends meet, we see more families coming in than ever before. And so we're just so grateful that we have donors that can help us provide the resources necessary to for, pro, provide that food pantry specifically because the food seems to be, uh, you know, cost of food has increased, but not everybody's wages have necessarily mm -hmm. increased. So we realize we're a resource for those families that need access to our food pantry and those, that specific resource. And as a nonprofit, of course, it takes a community effort to provide yes. resources like this. And we do have the holidays coming up. We know yeah. it's always a great time of need when it comes to food, when just to mm -hmm. get into the holiday spirit. Yeah. What kind of events do you have coming up for this? So this weekend, we have our Thanksgiving outreach. We're going to serve about a thousand families. We're giving away warm coats. We're giving away food boxes. Then we're also serving a nice actual Thanksgiving lunch. So it's, there's going to be turkey, there's going to be green beans, there's going to be dressing, anything you could think of that you would have at your Thanksgiving uh, dinner event. It's going to be at our lunch this Saturday uh, from 11 to 1 p.m. And then during the Christmas holiday season, we're going to be doing three days of Christmas, the 15th, 16th, and 17th. We're going to be collecting toys for children wrapping those toys and then delivering those to the families as well. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. And what kind of help do you need? What kind of um, opportunities are there for people to get involved? If you go to our website at city center, okcitycenter.org, you go to the events tab, you can see all the volunteer opportunities that are available to you. We have volunteer opportunities that are huge. We, we're gonna wrap over 5,000 presents this year for children in our community. So that's a big volunteer opportunity. This weekend, this Saturday, we also need some volunteers to help us with our Thanksgiving outreach. Okay, so there are a lot of opportunities, mm -hmm. a lot of different ways people can get involved. Where can they find all this information um, so that they can, do they need to sign up? Do they need to make a phone call? Where can they get that? They can go to okcitycenter.org. They can look on the events tab and you can click on the sign up uh, uh, tab there and you can sign up to volunteer on that website. Okay, and we will have that information mm -hmm. posted on our website as well. But before okay. we go, just want to ask you, what kind of impact have you seen these services and these programs make on the community and the people that you serve? Well, we've seen a tremendous impact just because it, one of our positions is that we want to serve with dignity. We want to serve people. We feel like outreach is this way and not down and we want to serve people in a way that makes them feel dignified. So it's just that approach alone has had a tremendous impact in our community. Okay, I love it. Jed, thank you so thank much you. for coming in. And again, people can find more information in the Asking On section of our website. Get involved and okay. help in your efforts. Thank you again so much for coming in. Thank you. Of course.